After the blast that took place in Kerala on Sunday, there's been a lot of politics surrounding the issue of terror. Remember that in Malapuram, there was a platform given to a Hamas leader. There was one of the organizers who said that Gaza has won, who said that on 7th of October, what took place was a victory for Gaza and defeat of Israel. In a sense, justifying that particular terror attack. The question that many are asking is, why is the state government giving or allowing those organizers a platform to even call a terrorist group such as Hamas for which globally there is so much outrage in terms of what they have done. How could they have justified, for instance, the killing of innocents in the manner in which the organizers of that particular rally appear to have done? It's one thing to support the citizens of Palestine who are living peacefully. But to justify the actions of those who picked up the gun is quite another matter, is what they say. Union Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar has tweeted on the same issue. He's put out several statements as well as visited Kerala. But do you know what has happened over there? There's been a case filed against him on the basis of a complaint filed there by the local Congress. Question many are asking is that a union minister being booked, whereas those who have platformed or allowed a platform for the Hamas terrorists to come out and speak, what about these individuals? And isn't this really hypocrisy? Is the state government dragging its feet? Because even the chief minister said that they will look into it, not expressing any kind of hurry or urge to get the job done quickly. The larger question is this, that what's the signal that we are sending out? Those who allow individuals who perpetuate terror, who perpetuate violence, this kind of a public platform, isn't that a serious cause for worry and a cause for concern? That's going to be our second debate at 10.27. Do join us.